Now, when you think about going for a run, I typically think, okay, maybe three to five miles. Maybe some of you are 10 mile runners. Well, how about 100 miles? Well, that's what Mike McKnight did. And he is a local Utah born and raised in Cache Valley. Mike, how are you? Doing great. Just enjoying time with my family during the quarantine. It's been a very interesting time. And since, you know, you've had a lot of time on your hands, like a lot of us have, you decided you're going to take your passion of running and run 100 miles. But the kicker is you did it on zero calories. Mike, you're crazy and impressive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so tell me about, you know, let's first talk, where did you do the run? So I just designed a big loop around Cache Valley, Utah that started out okay. my front door and I finished at my driveway. Perfect. Wow. Loop. And how long did it take you? Just shy of 19 hours. So I started at 6 a.m. on Friday morning and finished just after midnight on Saturday. Wow. That is just, okay. Okay. So a hundred miles is crazy enough, but then you do it on zero calories. So why did you choose to do it on zero calories? So I've done the keto diet for about three years now. Uh -huh. And <clears throat> the reason I started doing that is like when you do running, it's a kind of a general theme that you need calories to give you the energy to run. Right. And I just always had these issues where I would puke during a race because my stomach had a hard time digesting the, the food that I was lot. eating. Yeah, yeah it's, okay. it's a terrible feeling. <laughs> yeah. So I started doing the keto diet to kind of tackle that and not have stomach issues anymore. Um, and the whole idea with keto is it just gives you a sustainable amount of energy without having to eat as much. Right. So ever since doing that, I've just always wondered if running 100 miles is possible, simply relying on my own fat storage, and I decided to do it. And how did you do? I mean, everything, like when people ask me about it, I just say it was uneventful in a good way. Everything went perfect. And <laughs> I finished. <laughs> the, I, I, I had two water bottles with me, so I was drinking water all day. And then I had a bag of salt, Redmond Real Salt. And I would just like lick Absolutely. my finger and stick it in the bag of salt and then suck oh it off gosh. just to give myself <laughs> some kind of electrolytes, but, but no calories. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so interesting, but you did better because your body just cannot digest that food typically when you're doing a big race. Yeah, I, I mean, it was 100 miles, 19 hours, and I had no stomach issues, and I felt like I could keep going, but I didn't because wow. I was tired. <laughs> well, with, as someone who deals with stomach issues, I find that very interesting because I've had to learn my ways that aren't always everybody else's you know, normal ways um, with eating and different things. So very, very interesting. Let me ask you, you know, as somebody who typically I could do like a three to five mile run, what, what is a good way if somebody's trying to get into running, what would you tell them? I mean, consistency is king is what I tell everybody all the time. So like try to run six days a week, whether it's just half a mile to a mile. And like, if there's okay. a day where you're super busy and you're typically doing three miles a day, like, you know, just get out there and do 10 minutes if you can just try to do it as it. much as you can. Well, Mike, if people want to chat with you, how can they do so? I'm on Instagram. My username is dirty Mike underscore 89 and you can reach <laughs> out to me and I like answering questions. <laughs> Dirty Mike, because he's always out running. Yes. Hey, well, Mike, it's so nice to meet you, and thank you, and congratulations. Thanks. <laughs>